Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo! What's going on, people? Um, it is the day of the day of another day of another day. It is officially Tuesday. It is officially the alarm is going up in the building. There's always something going on. Ring it long because we've been doing it too long. But I'll be damned if I see another chick in your arm. <laughs> okay, as we already know, I'm still fighting this cold. Obviously, I'm not that too sick that I can't keep changing my hair, obviously. You know, when I weave my hair and stuff like that, I know a lot of people might think I just wear wigs and stuff like that, but I really don't because I don't like it. I just want it to be the fact that, you know, in case I get into some disagreement with someone, I don't want to be able to pull my hair off like a Jerry Springer moment. Anyway, that being said, you know, I'm getting a little better and stuff like that. I'm starting to feel more like myself. The bitches start to return. I was in La La Land, maybe for the medication and... Only thing I was thinking was Benadryl, no shade, but, you know, it is what it is. And, um, I, um, just, you know, just been thinking and doing a lot of thinking and stuff like that. And, you know, it's so funny how you think about your life and stuff like that. And you're saying to yourself, could this really be my life? Like, is, is this really how my life is going to play out? Like, I'm never going to have a boyfriend. I'm never going to have a man. And, you know, if you're looking like that when you sit around the house and stuff like that and you're, like, saying to yourself... I'm always here by myself, no, but in my case, everybody always think I'm, I'm surrounded by all these men, and really I'm not, but they always say the person you think have a lot of men or women, whatever the case may be, they're the ones that's really alone because nobody won't step to them, and then when someone finally do step to them, it means some ugly motherfucker, you say, how the fuck did he pull that bitch? Because the simple fact of the matter is everybody never thought that the person had anybody, and it was always available. Anyway, that being said, you know, um, um, Still on the prowl, still doing me, still up to something, still something to something else. I wish I could find a job where I don't have to work as hard trying to find something to do. But at the end of the day, I have to survive like everybody else. So, um, you know, um, oof. I sit back and I was talking to someone that actually, you know, this is the thing that gets me. You know, I sit back and I talk to a lot of different people and stuff like that. And doing you got these certain people who you just so happen to have sex with. And they see you on the street and actually they don't know you. You know, someone hit you a lot, ask you what you're doing. You know, motherfucker, please. You know, and the thing about it is, you know, we all have to learn that. We have to learn how people really are. And the person that wants to speak to you on the street, that person can give you a disease and something like that. And can really ruin your life. And for another thing, I was reading a post about a girl who let some guy, random guy, move and come into her house and she went to a shower. Listen, girls, this is my thing to you. This is my message to you. And this goes for anybody. If you just met somebody and you just met them on the street and stuff like that, everything is vibing. They seem like they got everything together. They got this Porsche, Lamborghini, hoopty, whatever the fuck it is. Do not leave anything around the house for them to take. Whether it's your cell phone, your, your MacBook, or whatever the fuck you got in your house that's some type of importance to you. Even your motherfucking camera phone. I mean... Your camcorder, your your online cam, whatever the fuck you got around your house, you hide it. Because these motherfuckers may have gotten that shit by robbing other motherfucking people. And guess who's the next fucking victim? It's you. You know, we invite people into our house, stuff like that. We feel as though we finally found a man of our dreams or somebody that can really love us. In reality, they are on a mission. Because there's a recession going on. The motherfuckers are not taking no prisoners. And people looking at you as any little thing in your house, they come to take it. And now you may say, well, I really don't have nothing for them, them to take. But you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised what you got around that house that's a gold mine that could easily end up at the porn shop. You know, they'll sell your motherfucking camera. It took you $300 to get it. They'll sell that bitch for $25. They just wanted to get some extra money. They don't give a fuck about how, you know, you did you know you did what you needed to do. I mean, I met a guy from Wall Street. He robbed me, you know. And ever since then, I was like, no. Motherfuckers go through your wallet. They go through your pocketbook. They go through your drawers. They go through everything. You got to go to the bathroom take a piss. You make sure you motherfucker leave. When you got to take a piss, you make sure that motherfucker say, listen, you come stand right here at the door. I got to talk to you. Start some type of fucking conversation up when they have to come say, come here, I want to talk to you for a minute. And while you stand there, you and make it very, I said, well, why want to stand here watch you piss? Because, bitch, I got to watch you. I don't know what you're going to do. And if you feel as though you're the kind of person that's like, well, you know, I, I don't want to do all that, but, but then, then this is what you need to do. You make sure everything is fucking out of their out of their eyesight. And I know a lot of times we meet people in the street like that. We end up bringing them home and stuff like that. And I'm not saying I'm a perfect because I've done it before. And the simple fact of the matter is that you bring them home and stuff like that. Let me tell you right now. I'm like this. 
And think around my house, this motherfucker gonna be hitting within a certain period of time. You just start picking shit up. You take a piece of clothes, this is how you do it. To try to play it off so they don't know what you're about to do. You walk inside your house and say, oh, no, oh, child, and then I say, oh, let me say so and so. And you make up these fake ass excuses and you do this and this and that. You pick some piece of clothes up and you go carry it over to somewhere else with that certain items that you drop it on top and say, oh, or you just be kind of just like, listen. But see, this is my thing. I try to do it so they don't really know what I'm doing. Because if they really know what they're doing, then they're going to start looking for the item that you did. And reality is when you try to sneak and do something, that's when they start. Because motherfuckers, I'm going to tell you something. This is how you know motherfuckers up to something. When you invite somebody over to your house and stuff like that, and they start looking around and say, oh, you have a nice place. Now watch their eyes. Because if they spot it, they're going to do like this. And it's like, you're so beautiful. They're flattering you with compliments. This is to throw you off because of what they're about to do. They start kissing you, grinding on you, push you against the wall. This is the, all the deception. And they whole goal is to rob you. You know, and it's so fucked up the world we live in, but the simple fact of the matter is that where else we going to go? But we could be worse, God knows, because there are other places that are just going through hell and stuff like that. But this is my, my, my thing to you as far as bringing people home. And another thing I want to talk about... Um, silicone okay girls want to know how to get their bodies done and stuff like that and they want to talk about the black market silicone and plastic surgery as well as that this is for you and you're the one who hit me up about this i don't recommend it i'm not gonna say don't do it i'm not gonna say do do it but like i'm gonna tell you and i'm gonna say this like i said to many girls before i went and got my body done i got a couple of things done a couple of hormones could do everything for me honey mother went and got some jerky lotions and they just popped it on up <laughs> but you have to understand this. Just because you lay on that table don't mean you're going to come out of there alive. That's one thing you forget. Just because you lay on that table don't mean that they're going to pump you to the right spot. They don't go into your arteries or your blood vessels. And that shit stops stopping your blood, stop your heart, and make you have a heart attack. Just because you lay on that table, you may come out there looking for this fabulous ass or this fabulous hip or these fabulous titties or this fabulous face. Does not mean that they're going to hit the right spot every time. Because a lot of girls I know who've gotten it done. You know, they're dead. You know, and that's what you need to consider. Like, so I don't give out advice about it. Because girls, I know they're all the dead. Girl wouldn't have a fabulous body. Girl was fucking beautiful. She got her ass done. She, she just had to get her ass done bigger. She got her ass done bigger, now she's dead. Another girl I know, she went got a pussy. I've talked about this before. She got a pussy. She went overseas and got it. It didn't dilate the right way. She's dead. You know, and the thing about it, it doesn't matter whether it's a licensed plastic surgeon or a unlicensed plastic surgeon, black market, what we call it, you never really know. And when they say you get past the age of 40, the anesthesia kills you yourself. So it's a lot to consider. Some people can't come back through. The anesthesia ends up killing them. And you know, it's supposed to be safe and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, use your own description. And I will not tell you if I knew somebody who was getting, doing work, people would be like, I'm not going to tell you. I would not have that on my conscience. I would not have enough of being upset and bothered that I sent somebody else and they did because of me giving them information. And the girl did my body fabulous, so why did she die? I, I can't do it. It's not, it won't be on my conscience. It's like hitting a kid with, in a car. It is not going to fuck with me for the rest of my life. I got enough shit on me already. <laughs> it's for me to think about stuff like that. Anyway, I'm almost halfway there, so I don't want to keep talking because it seems like my mom be going over the place. Anyway, I just want you to be careful, and I want, I know you want to be fabulous, I know you want to be beautiful, and I know you were going to get to wherever you want to get to and stuff like that, and you want to be a brick or hard, whatever the case may be. But anyway, you have to do what works for you. I'm only putting it out there like that, and that's up to you. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you what not to do. It would be a hypocrite for me to say not to do it when I did it. So I'm not saying you have to use it. Don't ask me about it. Anyway, I want to thank you all new people. Boom. I want to thank you all old people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. And I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. And nobody don't like it then. Fuck them. All right.